Hello. Oh. Hi there. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Material Girl Podcast with me, Susan Riddle, and me, Amanda Dwyer. We're eating cakes. We're eating cake. I've got like a wee cake. Wee selection of cakes for my sisters, sponsored by Gee's Peace, Toll Cross Road. No, actually, Causeway Side Street, just off a of Toll Cross Road. Uh, so good. We've got a carrot cake. Did you just eat the carrot cake? I just scoffed the carrot cake. So nice, isn't it? Carrot cake's probably top three favourite cakes. This is what I'm learning, because I always thought that carrot cake would have been like, nobody would want carrot cake. I love carrot cake. I love carrot cake, I know, but it's one of my sister's best sellers. Aye, so good. Uh, We've got a cookie. She does these cookies where they've got different kind of fillings every day. This one's got McVitie's Gold Biscuit. Nice, isn't it? Mine doesn't like it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and we've got a wee... We've just took a wee selection of everything. This is a mini egg cheesecake. I've been dying for one of these. This isn't very good for people listening. I was pure munching. Oh my God. How good. Sorry, this is disgusting. We need to stop. <laughs> this is horrible. Why am I wee bite? I, just I don't mean the cakes. I mean just people listening. I just need to try the I never took off. that because I've had this before. It's like a biscoff. What would you call it? What's that? Like a millionaire shortbread. Millionaire shortbread, but it's like biscoff stuff. Too nice. And I had I'm so soup. happy right now. Mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> I had a. I'm so happy. Spicy cauliflower soup. Here. So I was standing waiting on my soup. I go to my sister's cafe. Oh my God. Nice days for a free scran. <laughs> Honestly, it's ridiculous. You have it so good. I know. And it's like all workies and all that go there as well. And this morning there was a worky. He's like, "What's the soup?" She, she's like spice cauliflower and he's pure nah and she was pure just taste it aye so she gave him a wee cup to taste it yeah, and he was like it. oh aye aye <laughs> and she's pure that's about the third person that's yeah. been pure nah I love cauliflower but oh right up my street a spicy cauliflower mm. soup it was beautiful <laughs> Amanda cut herself a fringe everybody yeah should we do a poll oh and see who Honestly, likes it I don't care who doesn't like it because I like it I think it's I think it really suits you and I'll tell you something right see a fringe like that back in the day you'd have nightmare, killed yourself nightmare fuel because <laughs> <laughs> it is a, it's a curly fringe it is I thought because I, I just want how do you do style something. it I don't I just so just dry my hair and then obviously like I put like a when I'm after I've washed my hair I put like a, a gel in it to like help hold the curl that's it I can't even brush it I'm just I'm literally twirling my fingers it's probably bogging <laughs> man cake but it's a cheesecake in it <laughs> but it's a biscoff shortbread in it later but I got my I dinner in my really hair last night <laughs> you what? I got my dinner in my hair last night did you? I was out for my dinner and my brother's pure wait do you mean you got your hair in your dinner or you got dinner no in your I hair? had like bits of food in my hair and it's pure <laughs> Got like fucking chips in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're mad, Trump. I know. I do that all the time. So do I. Do you remember? Do you ever read the twits? Aye, the Roald Dahl. Dahl the and like, remember the pictures? And it was like bits of cornflakes and that in their beards. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. Aye. The twits. <laughs> as the twats. The, the, the Roald Dahl books, by the way. Horrifying. Fucking. Terrifying. Like, do you read your way in? Uh, me, I'm reading Ethan the New. We're reading uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, which actually I think is a bit too grown up for him. Is it? Like, who wrote it? Some fucking celebrity? <sighs> I can't remember. Is it a celebrity though? No, I don't think so. It's on my Kindle. Um, so we just finished a chapter where the, like, spoiler alert, uh, the mum dies. I don't think she's dead. I think she might come back. But he was poor. Is the mum dead? No, it's poor. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he was poor greeting and I was poor, I'm sorry. I was like, I don't think she's dead, I think she's come back. But I was, he was pure devastated. I don't think you should read them Roald Dahl stuff then. Oh. It's like, oh, they get killed by a rhinoceros <laughs> and all that. No, see Roald Dahl, see Matilda, the the film. Oh. I was like, even, yes, Matilda's on, this was like three years ago. Four, I don't know, it was about five or six. I was pure, oh, come watch this film with mummy. It was pure Sunday afternoon, Channel 5. And I had to turn it off because he started greeting with the bit when... <laughs> He's wins the day. <laughs> the t- when Miss Trunchbull uh, throws the wee lass <gasps> in my pig That's tails. the best bit. He was pure greeting. He was like, oh. Uh, so we can even finish it. Can even finish it. That was like, I mean, it just goes to show, like, <coughs> although saying that Manny's his nephews like Matilda, but he likes the stage show. He likes the music. Does he not like any, like, kind of violence and stuff when he's, like, <sighs> no, not really. See, that was a, but he loves he's weird because he likes like a horror game he'll go on his VR and play horror like we like kids horror games obviously no pure but like he'll be like, ah, like, pure, like and he's like can we get a new horror game during the Easter holidays and I'm pure I alright but like but, it, and it's, but I think because he knows that's fake but I think with TV and stuff and stories I think that feels me I don't know he, Aye. Like, sucks him in a bit me aye but that's going to be one of the best scenes in any film of all time when that wee lassie gets gets tossed. Tossed. But do you know how that if they were to make it new, that wouldn't happen in the film? They've remade it. They've just done a musical one. Is there somebody that gets on Netflix? Fun? I don't know. I've not watched that one yet. Um, and even when you watch like Home Alone, but I think it would be what they must do. It. They'll have to do it. It's brilliant. I love it. The stage show, the date in the stage show, remember I thought they actually <laughs> so dropped a wee lassie for the ceiling. <laughs> it was a tell, doll. Tell, tell, the, tell the people. Well, I've already told the people, episode. but basically I went on this school trip to London and we went to see loads of different shows and stuff. I went with the performing arts department and we went to see Matilda, the musical, and it was so bloody good, by the way. It was honestly like one of the it. best things I've ever seen. And uh, the bit that scene where Miss Trunchbull to- tosses the way, and they there's this. I was sitting at the aisle, like right at the aisle, and all these wains come running at the back mm-hmm. to catch to catch her. Be Amanda, the one that get flung with Amanda Thrip. Aye, <laughs> and uh, so the I thought so a, a wee lassie drops through the ceiling. They catch her and this thing, but obviously it wasn't a wee lassie. It was a doll. But I thought it was a a really a real a win because that's how impressive it was <laughs> that's how good the show was did anybody else think it was real no and <laughs> i got outside and not even the school wins thought that was real and i got outside and i was like to one of the, the teachers oh my god that bit when the wee lassie fell through the roof, the roof and she was pure <laughs> that was a doll and i was pure <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> I was pure, what? what? She was like, I was a doll, obviously. And I was pure, obviously. <laughs> I was pure, oh my God, I want to kill myself. That is so embarrassing. I kind of want to see it now, just for that. It was so, and I was right next to it. So there wasn't even like the excuse that you're... I, I was far away. I was literally <laughs> right next to it. And I was like, wow, these Wayne's staying there in stunts. <laughs> It was so believable. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep thinking about my cake. I'm going to just have it on my cake. Do you know, me and Amanda went out the other night for, well, it was Amanda's show. And I met her after it and we went for dinner for my birthday. But we get knee photos. I was just thinking, we got absolutely knee photos. We've not got one photo. Did you get any photos? I've got one photo of me, you and Shauna at a party. Is that a good one? I think it's quite nice, aye. Right. I'll show you. We'll insert it. Are you like a photo taker on a night out? Because I'm no. Depends, I'm either taking hunters or I forget to take any. I like to get one when I've just got ready. Oh, so yeah. Usually for when my I dating profile. Well. I'm like, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> that gets stuck up on fucking Bumble or whatever. But I'm more likely to take them when I'm steaming. And then I look at them and I'm like, whoa. Mm. These are never seen the light of day. I think I do- took some the other night. See, I'm, this is what I'm saying as well. Like, Amanda makes it that I'm the mere hedonistic of the two years because I drink. But she goes nuts. She was up till half eight in the morning. I was home before, what was it, like half eleven or something? Okay, Amanda makes her sell out to be this wee sober, clean living, 
thing, but she's no, she's actually, she was, I'm allowed to say this. What, smoke? No, oh, just in case, like, Ethan watches or something. Aye, sorry. She's chuffing fags. Not even vaping. Well, she was, was vaping, vaping, then she went on to the fags. Did that not make you feel disgusting? I only smoked like two fags. Oh, did you? Aye. I think. And Laurie, I was saying to Laurie, oh, leave me a fag. When, remember when you were leaving? Mm-hmm. So I'll leave you two. Mm-hmm. I actually gave one of them away to Shauna's da, and I didn't even smoke the other one. Still in my bag. Aye, she was chuffing fags and... <laughs> Talking like these got real connotations of like chain smoking. She was. <laughs> I smoked two fags. Ugh, no, I couldn't imagine. Which is gross. You should never smoke any fags, but I was a wee bit drunk. Just say no. <laughs> I was a wee bit drunk and I just love a wee smoke when I'm drunk. I, I'm I, I'm quite I'm sober ninety nine percent of the time. Mm-hmm. And then you go off. And then I have one night out and I just I just can't eat. I can't hack it. I, I can't. I lose all sense. Have we spoke about the Taylor Swift party? Aye, we spoke about it. All oh, right. Last week was the day after it. Oh, was You've it? still got your week. Oh, I've still got my tattoo. <laughs> so it's not a wash in <laughs> a week. I don't know if it's quite in a weird place. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, as you should get a sleeve. You well, do- I, everybody's been saying to me, like, you should get tattoos. <laughs> I think I might. Just go nuts. I've you one. would, you would never be able to stone it. I know I wouldn't. You're a wimp. I know. <laughs> what was it? I was having a day the other day, and I was pure. Oh, I feel actually physically. Oh no, I had a sore back. I'd done my back in. Aye, that is bad though. I think. And it was making me feel physically sick. I fainted once in the tune when I was with Ethan because my back went in a card shop, and I was lying on a girl's street. And Hannah's a woman came up and I'm like, you're right. And Ethan was crying, saying, Mom, I'm going to miss you. I thought, was, <laughs> I thought I was passing away. I was like, I'm sorry, right, I've you. just hurt my back. And my pal had to come and get me. It was so embarrassing. It is embarrassing. That kind of pain does make you feel like, mm, sick. Aye. It's because I was driving about to Hunters of different gigs for hours and hours in the motor. And ugh, I'm just told, no, my back's just <laughs> hours and hours. Aye. My back's so and all. And so I've started like, uh, well, I went to one Pilates class. I've started Pilates now. All right. Because I'm actually I'm one scared. Of those people now. I'm scared. scared like, I'm going to be one of the peop- these people that has back pain. That's what happens when you get older. I, I'm one of these people. So you, you need to work on your core. Stevens, like that. But sore back all the time, bad knee. Does he not work on his core? Doesn't he work on. Does he not do any exercise? Is he no exercise at all? See, I would have thought it would have been more like maybe walk up a mountain type. No. No? No. He can't, I'm like, I walk to the shop and he's like, no. He would. He loves to no leave the house. I woke up on Monday night, last Monday. I can. I was still shattered after last weekend. Remember, I was pure sleeping all the time. Mm-hmm. I woke up Monday, texted him saying, where are you? And he was pure, I'm out for a walk. And I was pure, have we switched bodies or something? Because <laughs> like, I'm the one who's always like up and out. And he was pure, out for a walk. I was pure... What the fuck? Why was he out for a walk? It just, this just felt like going for a walk. Was that a nice day? It was a nice day. Mm. Yeah, so there was a beautiful day and Steven. I never... Why? What age is he? 42 soon. Tell him he's got to do something. I know. We will, Can we he just be sitting going, we sedentary? We that's started going weekly family walks. Oh, that sounds terrible. I'd hate that. No, it's so rough. <laughs> I saw... I, Ethan I saw moans for 45 minutes before it and then when it when else at the door he has the time of his life. Right. I saw a family the same on their week. bikes. Oh, no, no. And it looked hellish. I'm like, so imagine something happens. <laughs> I mean, my pal Diane went out cycling and she fell off her bike, man. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> she were in Pollock Park and I was like, right, turned in here. And she turned and she went into a bollard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but the pure flattened the bollard, but she came off her bike and her feet. God sake. It's funny now, but at the time I was pure, no. And people were like, oh my God, should we phone an ambulance? I was pure, for an ambulance. She was pure, no. She's like, I'll be all right. And it was the most traumatic thing ever. But see, now when I picture her, like when Aye. I picture it, it's so funny because. She's fine, but She's right. it was a really bit hairy. You know mm. <laughs> speaking, speaking of cyclists, <laughs> oh God, I'm not telling the full story. 
No, there's Me no and the delivery driver didn't work out in the end. <laughs> it, this is what keeps happening. You shouldn't talk to people before you go on a date with them. I, honestly, and I'm not even joking, probably about 10 times now, I've arranged to go on a date with somebody and then like maybe a few days before the date, something happens and, something, like, and we just don't even make it to the date. <sighs> it's really tragic. I, I don't know what else to do now. I'm really at the end of my tether. We had, we, me and the cyclist had an argument about something and then he just totally patched me after it because he can't take. But you were right. Because I was right and he was wrong. And that's the most important thing in life, being right. Aye. You'll be alone happy. forever, but... Being alone and being right is much better than being way a cyclist and <laughs> being... Wrong. <laughs> He's away on us. Compromising honestly, on your morals. See, because he's a delivery driver, I'm poor. See, when it starts pushing You're ordering down. ordering a takeaway every five minutes. <laughs> when it starts pushing down, I'm poor. <laughs> I hope I hope you're caught in this and I hope you get a really bad cold. I did say it one time. <laughs> I, I was <laughs> sending my pal a voice message. I hope he gets fucking blown into traffic. And then I was like, oh no, I don't really hope that bad day. Hope he gets a really bad cold. That is too much. I know. I know. I hope he gets caught in all the hailstones and stuff. Aye. We will, we all will. I hope he's mildly inconvenienced. Hope he has this, I hope you have the sniffles, all right? We hope that you <laughs> have the sniffles. Have the sniffles. <laughs> Bad ones. Aye. And a scratchy throat. Aye. And your ears sore. <laughs> and you can't sleep because you're like, me. <laughs> <laughs> My tiny nostrils. That is... I do, I do wish him, like, I don't wish him harm, but just, like, mild. Mild inconvenience. Oh. We wish you many a mild inconvenience. We really do. <laughs> For a sustained period uh, of time. Is there anybody else you wish a mild, many a mild inconvenience to? <sighs> really, quite a lot of people aye, actually. Aye? Aye. Do you wish death on MD? <laughs> wait, wait, we've, that's a bit of a leap. We've went from a mild inconvenience <laughs> to death. Do you wish, is there anything death? you're mildly, inc- like a voodoo doll, but you don't stab it, you just like block its nose or something? You just like, aye. Do you know what? I don't think so. A voodoo doll that you, I don't know. I mean, because you're meant to stab them with your pins, aren't you? I do have an ex boyfriend who I wish many and many, many mild inconvenience to. Mm-hmm. When you wish him dead, because he'll die anyway, we'll all die. Aye. But I wish him. I wish him hell on earth. Well, my exes, I'm just. I, I just wish them, like, because I'm an angel, right? It's never my fault. <laughs> I an just angel. wish them, uh, what's the word, car, a wee bit of karma, so that they get whatever they did Aye. to me happens to them. That's what I wish. On exes no. and male pattern baldness as you well. Wish that on them. Yes, I've got a wee voodoo doll, and I just rip the hair out. <laughs> I've got an ex who I wish, <laughs> I wish, no, what he did to me happens to him because I don't see that. But that I just wish that he continues to be just as much of a horrible cunt as he's always been and uh, somebody leathers him for it aye that's no bad aye or he meets his match aye hope he meets his match and his match is a woman aye like a wrestler aye and she rips him in two aye and then he (laughs) dies of embarrassment (laughs) (laughs) he doesn't even die because he's ripped in two he just dies already aye before he dies he actual like his organs hanging out that he just he just dies a embarrassment. Like, Do you think he could die embarrassment? Aye. I indirectly like my sister has nearly died of embarrassment many times. I saw the thing where like, oh I'm choking, I'll go in the toilet to try and dislodge it and Aye. then you die in the toilet. Like she's had sepsis and I was like phone an ambulance and she was like, That's her day. <laughs> the hospital were like, You're lucky to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> she got a taxi there at the hospital because she was emba- embarrassed. I get that. I, How sick. S- I, I get totally it. I know. get that. It's like my dad and all will have like a pure seizure, mm-hmm. get like a brain injury, and then like we're pure, oh my god, oh my god. And then like the first thing he sees when we walk into the hospital is 
like I hope you're, is he going to be able to speak and all that? Because obviously he had that big brain injury in 2010, right? Pure wee bit of backstory. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and a couple of years ago, he had he went missing. He went missing, and uh, he was in the hospital. He had a seizure on Paisley Road West. And uh, I thought, oh, I'm giving you the street address. You know what I'm like. Um, and I was pure, oh my God, they were like, he's fractured his skull, he had a bleed on the brain. And I was pure, oh my God, oh my God. And then I'm the not acting shocked here because I've heard this. And then the next <laughs> day, I'm pure. the first thing he said when he opened his eyes and saw me was, what a brass neck. <laughs> <laughs> I was pure, dad. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but... <laughs> it is. He's like, what a brass neck, an ambulance, I'm pure, dad. Stop. Hi, but it's like... He would literally die um, already. <laughs> Before See, they the like, bothered anybody for his medical needs. Just the thought of somebody finding your body as well. Deed. Aye, it's like, because you, you would be like, ugh, you, you look <laughs> terrible. <It's>, <laughs> <laughs> like, chances are you're not going to look bra. And it's just very embarrassing. Probably no. And you fart a lot after you die, I think. Oh, do you? I think so, I think your body, like, I think you fart when you did. I think I've heard that That's as well. That's something really funny about that, I think. That would just, how could you not laugh at that? It's like when you're like, do you know what? I'm not entirely sure what actually happens to your body. Like, you know how when you're in the, what do you call it? Morgue. Aye. And they, they put things in you and all that. Like, <laughs> they put like what? mad liquid in you and all that. Mad liquid in you? Aye. What, keep, you fresh? Fresh? keep you fresh. Keep you fresh. I need something new actually. I wouldn't mind either. a wee shot no. of that the new. I need embalmed. <laughs> Can I get a partial embalmment here? Is that what, the, what it's called? Embalmed? No, I think embalmment's like, I don't know. Aye. I'm no, I know embalmment's is something they do to like preserve a body, but I don't know if it's just something that's done in certain cultures or if everybody gets Egyptian. embalmed. Aye. Or if it's like a. Well, like I, um, there's a mere modern embalmment practice now that most people get. I really don't well, know. I we should look into a, this. Mere people should know what actually. Probably, maybe people do know, people but don't I really don't. I don't want to really want. I've watched a program about it as well. Like they didn't really go into great detail on what they do. Surely it's like rubbing moisturizer on. No, no, I think it's internal. I don't know how they get it in you. I'm going to say up there. So I'm sorry. I think that's probably. What? I don't know. Like, where it Why how would else? you say that? Like, in your mouth? Aye, maybe. Or injection to, <laughs> like, your skin. I don't know why. I thought it was up the arse. I'm going to say up the arse. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seemed like the most, like, kind of normal way to do it. I <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like more people would be talking about it if it was up the arse. Aye, I feel like that would be a well known fact. We could literally look this up. We should. Um, maybe day after it's a bit grim and I know and it really wants to know Aye, sorry about listen. this I've got a massive fear of death and we're just talking about it it's good to like talk about it but it takes the <sighs> it's cathartic aye. it's good to induce a wee panic attack first thing on a Monday morning I always <laughs> find <laughs> Amanda's got a show the night as well so Aye, I've got my sex show the night she has um, I'm, hoping I'm going to see it it's good I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm f- hoping it's going to be good, I know. Because I'm in the audience. <laughs> My Saturday show was great. Thanks to everybody who came. You were so... I listened back to it yesterday and I was just so happy. Oh, that's good. Like, oh my God, no. Just to the just to the bit at the end where that I'd never done before. So I could be like, right, will I just go along that same route the night? No, no, no. Like, you're doing the right thing. Um, I, I hate just listening back. But see here, not the laughter. I was pure, oh. Aye, that's nice. There was something that way I was so hungover yesterday that I was just like, oh my god, I could never listen to myself if I was hungover. Well, I'm much braver than you. <laughs> no, like <laughs> it's a good thing today. I just, I know, I know. I, I need to get into the practice of doing it. All like really good comedians day doing that. Mm. Hey, I, I had a gig yesterday. <laughs> it's got to be up there with like the Where weirdest gigs I've ever done. And try get. Oh aye, oh aye. Why was that yesterday? Aye, it was yesterday. Aye. Uh, it was Scott Agnew, who's like a a big gay giant. Um, a big gay giant. <laughs> he's a comedian. An icon. Uh, you probably know him because he's been about for a while, hasn't he? Aye. He's, he's so, so funny. funny. Aye. So he, he 
had this idea for a show and it's basically taking the piss out of your burn supper only it's like we're celebrating square sausage and it was like the square sausage society secret society <laughs> i saw a picture and it was like something something under the grill with or the sausage meister or something <laughs> he was a sausage meister me and Roscoe McClellan and another comedian were the guests under the grill. <laughs> so the first half of the show was him. He wore a cape. No real reason to be wearing a cape, just to make it more theatrical. <laughs> and a wee beret. It was a show about square sausage. Obviously, he's going to wear a cape. <laughs> no. So then no he was real a, reason. I swear to God, see, for the first five minutes, the audience were like, what the fuck have we signed up for here? It was so funny. Uh, but then they kind of get into it he was just had this whole it was more or less doing like a, a speech <sighs> can he not get into it with Scott Agnew I don't think like I he's just so funny Indeed, he's just well. so I so <laughs> it was so so funny um, I can't even explain we were singing songs and all that but yeah. I like a bit of sausages. I the, at the end of the show he sang a song and it was supposed to be like an instrumental in the background, but then he worked so he had to sing it a cappella. <laughs> That's mortifying. You know? So it was like it's simply having a wonderful sausage time or something. Now like Christmas time. But it was dead funny because it see the wee bit goes ding dong ding, ding dong. dong. So it's like simply having a wonderful and then he and then he was going, Link Lorn, Link Lorn. <laughs> <laughs> no. So me and, well, me and Roscoe got up and we had to, like, he was just interviewing us about sausages. And it was just dead funny. Like, <laughs> um, although I will say, so I came prepared with some, like, sausage stories. Just a little bit, can I say about sausages? Um, and my, one thing was, see, when I went on holiday when I was younger, my dad would pack. Square sausage. Square sausage. Did this happen with you as well? Did you go to Spain as a child? No. No. We went to Blackpool. Butlins Sad. and stuff. Can you tell maybe the audience were too less posh or mere if they were absolute like Scarborough when they were we Aye. Or like maybe they went on better holidays than like Aye. Magaluf for two weeks. No, we never went abroad. That is not well. We went. We went abroad. My dad packed hundreds of food, which I don't think you would legally be allowed to do now. So it would be the contraband. Case, aye, the case would be for a link sausage. No, no link how sausage. Would square be, how sausage. How would it be all right by the time it got to Spain? I think he might have put the wee cool bag. Because back in, in the day, you'd be in the airport for four hours before your flight as well. I think mind you used to get like the wee cool bag, like the wee Lunch things you would freeze. Aye. aye, I think he'd be like. Packed with them, it must have been, or else we'd all died. <laughs> we'd all die. <laughs> like Maybe got diarrhea. We'd all be dead. <laughs> Maybe we just had stronger constitutions back then. Right? <laughs> so he would pack the case would be full of fucking fry up stuff, um, and this was everybody had done this. So I said that, and the audience were just poor. No, no, nobody. I'm sure nobody took any of this stuff on holiday, and they were just nobody. Everybody was like, absolutely not. No, use your own holiday. You. You go experience other cultures and stuff. No, no, on these kind of holidays you didn't. You, you were at the you, pool. You wanted sunshine. <laughs> you had half. Were you fry up? Half bold. You never left the hotel. Like you, you went to see the entertainment at night in the hotel. Aye. You'd maybe go a wee walk to the beach or whatever. Aye. But that was about it. I mean, can you afford to go out and eat all the time? We never. We would go to Blackpool. But we would be out every day of just doing stuff. When I think about how much money that actually must have cost. Aye. Like, Cause maybe, because you went, maybe because the holiday was cheaper, you had mere disposable income on the holiday. I like, so the actual, would go and stay at a wee hotel, get a wee apartment for the week and we'd get the bus done. Aye. That's probably so no cost So we spanked lot. the money on the holiday, then skint. On holiday. Whereas every day we were out morning to night, day and activities. No, we Gone on, go to the Pleasure Beach two, three times a week, go to the zoo, go to the tower, go to eating out for every meal. <laughs> I, I love these holidays. Which is mental. See, like this, it's like a thing of the past, like childhood holidays. Because like, you never went to Spain, but it used to be that you wouldn't even know what hotel you were going to. So they would 
you would get on the coach. I would just say, this and it is would your be hotel. like, this is your hotel. Aye. So like, why? I, ye- have, I have been on holiday like that. Why one year they they dropped us off at this belt area hotel. And we were up your yes, we struck gold here, like because it was luck. just a pure game of luck. And then they were, then the guy was like, actually, this isn't your hotel. Actually, like, back on the bus. You need to get back on the bus and my dad. Like every fucking holiday, it would just be my dad going after he's not at somebody, at, like at the start. <laughs> And you're just always standing there like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed now. Um, and then, so, we'd, we'd all be like in, it was an apartment, there was never any air conditioning. It, it was like, the kitchen was in, like, my house a wee bit. The kitchen was in the living room. My dad would be pure cooking up sausages with no top on, like getting pure sparks of fat flying at him and all that, <laughs> and pure raging. And it was so warm that he used to put, like, bottles of water in the freezer and then put them under his arms whilst he was like <laughs> cooking the sausages <laughs> fuck oh it was great it was that so sounds great. funny it sounds like your dad was stressed oh aye aye constantly your dad was not enjoying that <laughs> no not at all it was brutal but you were like yes aye it was awful all for us and then we'd just be in the pool maybe the big tea club the big tea club? Aye. What's that? Big tea shirt club? No, the big tea club. It was like a kid's club so that your man and dad could get used to fuck for a couple of hours I a remember day. my dad took my wee sisters to... I can't remember. Somewhere in Spain or Portugal or something like that. Mm-hmm. Keely was like 17 or something. Right. Don't... <laughs> I feel like it is crucial. It was Spain or Portugal. 14 was maybe? it Spain or was it Portugal? If uh, Taylor was seven, was she 16 or was she 17? Taylor was 16 or 17, right? So Megan <laughs> was about eight, right? Or nine. So we could go, um, went down to the hotel and got like the kids' club t shirts and that. And we brought them one back for Kelly and Megan. Kelly's pretty, I'm not fucking wearing that. I'm 17. <laughs> There's an episode of the only wee sister. And she was pure mortified. And then uh, they came up one morning and they was pure, do you just want to go pony trekking? Kelly was like, why did I come here? <laughs> there's a, there's, have you ever saw that Only Fools where Rodney's in like the big tea club? It's like the, the kids' club. I don't know. And he's pure. Know. <laughs> and yeah. Aye, that was like Kaylee. Aye. <laughs> so funny. She's why I go pony trekking. Pure hated that and what was just literally so your man and dad could like have a wee couple of hours to just get rid of you. Aye. I wasn't sure what you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> your face was saying disgust, but then you were like no, the, the mean, apartment was too, <laughs> the apartment was too, too, too hot. hot. <laughs> too hot. <laughs> <laughs> but I, the holidays were pure good. Love the holidays. I need a holiday. I'm going on holiday. <laughs> I need money, but I'm going on holiday. I'm going on holiday. Oh, let's go on holiday. Where are you? We should go on I've a trip. I've never been to Italy. I want to go to Italy. I would go to Italy. Let's go to Italy. And have not getting any money. Aye, but we'll get it somewhere. Can people just start, like, can we just start selling out shows and stuff so we get the lifestyle we deserve? I know, you just need to start paying for this Like, podcast. big rooms. We are poor. I know. <laughs> big Look, rooms. You are getting this for free. This is free. We need to start, like, we actually need to start trying to get some advertisers and sponsors and shit. Nobody wants to be associated with us. I know, I don't think they do either. Your sister's cafe doesn't even want to be. <laughs> She's like, ah, don't tell everybody I'm your sister. <laughs> there must be somebody that wants to be associated with us. Who do you think your ideal sponsor would be? Cams. <laughs> <laughs> rescue Remedy. Rescue Remedy, that's a good shout. <laughs> Love Rescue Remedy. Cams. I don't know, herbal tea? No. Coffee? I wouldn't mind well, a nice I coffee. Mind a coffee aye. Uh, an ethical one. Aye, something ethical. We don't really want to be associated with anybody that's got dodgy dealings. Yeah. Although if the money's that, right. We're better than that. <laughs> Unless the money is right. <laughs> uh, Everybody's corrupt for a price. That is true. It's very true. I'd like to think I win the be, but I know it's sad, isn't it? I know. So humanity's fucked. It is. It really is. <laughs> it is. 
Hvad er også spinharmen? Hvad er spinharmen? We went to a party the other night. I know, but there's nothing really to say about that. Well, when she left, it was a lot better. <laughs> Get on. The, the, the venue kept blacking out. Oh, aye, I left before this happened. The electricity kept cutting out. It was pure funny how unfazed everybody was. We were still at the bar, pure in the dark, like, hi, yeah, can I get a pint? I'm surprised the place never got looted. And then they moved us, they moved us through right, a yeah, building around the corner. Crazy. So it happened about four times, I think. It was funny because the first time everybody was looking at Sean up here, like, I think somebody was waiting to bring a cake out. Uh, it's just gone <laughs> and she was just like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> In the toilet with my torch, mm. like, help, I need a pee. Mm. It was so funny. Nice. And then I removed venue. And then they all went out to Pop World. What's Pop World? It was like Club Tropicana. Oh, aye. Is that called Pop World now? Aye. Jeez, oh. Yeah, it was good, I think. That's the old Fookies, isn't it? You've lost me now. Showing my age here. Showing your age, Hen. Was it Fookies? Fookies? Aye, there was a place called Fookies. Pretty sure that was a place. Um, I don't, I don't frequent Fookies. I don't frequent nightclubs. No, I can't tell you the last time I was in a proper nightclub. No, it's, I just couldn't. I would never want to. Neither would I. I love being in my house in my bed. I mean, I wouldn't mind dancing a bit mental. I am my house in the dark. In my house, but something grim about. Do people still go to nightclubs do, now? Though, like, do, does that actually Young still happen? People, I think so. Eh? I just thought it was like mere gaffs now. Everybody in people's houses. That's for after, before and after. No, I know, but like, I just thought the nightclub had been cancelled. Just it's a thing of the past. Should be. <laughs> I mean, I because we're old now. No, but I don't want my Wayne growing up. I'm going experiencing nightclubs. How it's Good. Is it? Aye. I don't think it is really when you think about it. No, I think it's part of growing up. <sighs> I know, but what else you got to do? Is that on your fucking. Go for it. I walk. think the name of my computer there. <laughs> go sit on your fucking. Sega Atari. Mega Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Sega what Mega Drive. What was your games console Sega. of choice? Sega. Oh, you. I've got Sega written all over you. Sega. And it's Sega. I called it Sega. Sega. I hated the Sega. I was a, a Super Sega. NES. SNES. SNES was good, but Sega, Mega Drive, I have so many good memories of playing that. Me and Sammy used to sit and play um, the Street Fighter game. I do get. I thought that was a Nintendo. I thought that was Nintendo. No, it was, because I never had a Sega and I played Street Fighter. Mm, I bet it was on the base The one where the guys come down the street And you're just fighting her as people No it's like two people Street fighters Like two people like, know that. No that I thought that was mm, Mortal Kombat Mortal Com- Tekken Tekken Mortal Kombat Street but, fighter but They were all like Right so I can't remember what this one's called Streets or something Streets right. or something Some violent street game Right. You were a guy and you could pick up like glass bottles and stuff and you had to get through one end of the street to the next. We right. used to play that, like two player, and we would like common, do a, com- a running commentary and like see who could do the funniest commentary. Go say Sammy. A hundred percent Sammy. <laughs> I, would pee my, I would pee myself. I'd be like, pause the game, I need to pee myself. <laughs> Try think, I, I was Mario Mario, I liked Mario. And I loved Sonic. Mm. I had this Mickey Mouse game that was also good you were Mickey and Donald um, but then the Playstation came out and I, I did have a Nintendo, we got a Nintendo as well, so there was James Bond I never had the place. well by, t- by that time I was out drinking <laughs> alright, Playstation was great, I loved Playstation like a normal win Spyro the Dragon no oh, I've still got Spyro the Dragon, Ethan plays that, me and Ethan play it together. Also, there was this game called Pandemonium. Nobody ever remembers it when I mention it, and it was so fucking good. I loved it so much. Do you remember Lemmings? The Lemmings? I remember. That's a, that was a dark game when you uh, think about it. Uh, it sounds familiar. So was Abe's Odyssey. Lemmings was like these wee, there was all these wee Lemmings, and you had to stop them from killing themselves. 
You had to stop them for like walking off buildings and all that. I'd just be like, on you go. And they'd be pure, eh, eh, like falling off and like into like lava and all that. And you had to, I can't, mind, I can't exactly remember how you you stopped them for killing themselves. Did they want to die? Aye, the lemmings, they want to die. Is that what lemmings means? I think lemming, they're, they're a real animal. A and lemming? And they kill their What? You got to Google this? I've never heard this before. I know, I feel like I'm making this up. But lemming. I lemmings had to stop them from topping themselves. Basically the Samaritans, we were just the, the Samaritans. A lemming is a wee animal. A small, short-tailed, thick-set rodent. <laughs> These ones have green hair, I'm sure. They are so cute. Let me see a real lemming. They don't look like that in the, the game. So do they kill themselves? Hey, look at its teeth, but... You want to know it's killed itself? <laughs> oh, but... That's a wee shame. What do you see. find out if I'm it's gone, I'm suicidal just like, tendencies? What does it mean to call someone a lemming? A person who follows the will of others... In a mass movement and head straight into a situation of circumstance that is dangerous, stupid, or destructive. I'm a lemming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I they would all follow each other into like f- four and a half cliffs. Certain and shit. death. Lemmings game. Oh, this is going to be nostalgia for me. Oh, I did have green hair. I. Pretty worried about these lemmings. Oh, I remember that. Aye, they were just... You wouldn't be allowed to make that game now. No. I, I'm probably going to say, like, because it's today with suicide, you're not allowed to... Pandemonium game. Does anybody... PS1. Oh, it was fucking brilliant. You could either be like a jester. No, it looks shite. No. It does. In what way does it look shite? You're just saying that because I Because like I it. don't like jesters. I don't like jesters. I would be the the, the hot lassie, obviously. <laughs> they look a bit anything today with the circus or jesters or anything like that. I'm just <sighs> no, but the levels were so fucking fun and good, and like the right amount of hard. Mm. No, no, a hard that Crash Bandicoot. I loved Crash Bandicoot as well. No, just because I was near uh, Sega, I never. That was PlayStation. It was on the Sega as well. Was it? Aye. That's a wee fox, Sega. isn't it? Sega. Sega. He's a bandicoot. Crash. Is that not like, does he not look like a wee fox though? Bandicoots look like foxes. <sighs> we'll stop being pedantic. <laughs> Never. Then. Never. I actually need to get up and turn this heat off. I'm boiling. It's heavy roasting. Yeah. I know. I'll do that. You can fucking talk about pandemic. Could you get me a glass of water, please? <laughs> Hi, I know. No, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> Try to think what else interesting's been happening. Um, your show. You say come to my show. I know I meant to mention it at the start. <laughs> I'm pure. You said come to Susan's show. It always is. Oh, why don't we talk about like the clips that went a wee bit viral? Aye. People's responses. Oh, we're up to thirty k. This is so like <laughs> we're up to thirty k views for that one. That's great. Um, cartoon crushes was quite funny responses Aye. okay let's have a wee this is for you listeners <laughs> this is for you listeners We've, I'll read out the, the listeners cartoon crushes right Robin Hood 100% Kovu is king Aladdin Beast Goliath sorry I'm just trying to find a weird one Optimus Prime everybody was calling you a furry Aye. I think I'm a way um. Because she says she fancied the beast for beauty and the beast and everybody in the comments like this lassie's a furry and she doesn't even know it. And I googled what a furry is and it's people who fa- who like, like who are interested in like animal looking, anamorphic human type. So you dress up like a f- furry thing? Aye. And it's like a fetish? Aye, maybe, I don't know. Would you, um, would you no, be into that? No. I just fancy cartoon animals, all right? I don't want to actually, I don't want them to, I don't want my boyfriend to dress up like a big wolf or it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was, I replied to this one, I thought this was pretty unhinged. Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shredder had a mask on, didn't he? All the time. I thought of one, I thought of another one. Oh, 
King Triton. Oh, aye, aye. Mm-hmm. What a fucking babe he is. No, that's daddy issues. No, I don't have daddy issues. Um, well, I think you do. I don't, I have mummy issues. Well, your, your cartoon <laughs> crush would suggest otherwise. Why? Because he's a... It's, he's got a big beard and beautiful hair and big muscly. He's grey. I like grey. He's pure money, I know. He's angry. <laughs> Is that what you like? Guys? He's mad at me. So the other <laughs> clip that pure went a wee bit viral. I hate that viral. It makes you sound like so old. But it got loads of views and comments and stuff. Was the drunk cleaning man? I never had any idea. So many people were into that. Can mm-hmm. I just say, do you know what I did for myself the other day? What Saturday was that? before my show I thought I'm going to clean my house because I know I'm going to be hung over tomorrow mm-hmm. and I want to be I want to wake up so you done a pre-drinking clean pre-drink I, pre- clean my pre-drinks was just cleaning my house that was a nice gift to yourself it was so nice to myself so yesterday it was a terrible day but at least my house was clean do you know what I mean I was right. so tired and rough but my house was spotless no in this clip right Talking about drunk cleaning and Amanda also discloses that she texts celebrities when she's like she'll message celebrities on Instagram when she's drunk and some I didn't message them the other night. I didn't message anybody. Did you know? No, I was too busy. Did you did, did you message MD like at Taylor Swift? What do you mean? Like when Swift you were drunk party? at the Taylor Swift party? No, but I tagged her in the post. And she never answered. No yet. Oh, I'm bitch. She'll get on it. She'll get on it. This guy says she'll iPhone Beyonce drunk thinking she won't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Some Dale sees was Sam Fender. Who I just learned who that was. Aye. Um <laughs> this is quite funny as well. A lassie that drunk clean mm. said, I made a playlist called Marigold Belters on Spotify. <laughs> Marigold Belters. Does that mean that we can search that and can I search <laughs> that? Let me see. We want to see what the Marigold Belters is. Marigold Belters? Um, Might just be hers. Might just be her own personal place. That's, I know, but you can share, make them shareable, can't you? Marigold Belters. There's people cleaned and moved furniture. <gasps> here it's here. <laughs> <laughs> we found your Marigold Belters. Found your playlist, I'm going to save it. I did it to my library. It's seven and a half hours long. She must Whoa. be fucking... She's what size clean. is your house? Uh, she is fucking doing the skirt and boards. Like, she's deep lis- clean. She's listening to, like, Shaka Khan. She's cleaning that house Donna like a Summer, serial killer. The Weather Girls. That, that's a belter. Uh, Sinead O'Connor, Meatloaf, Tina Turner, Patti Smith, Kate Bush. Bravo. Meredith Brooks. Uh, Westlife, The Jacksons, Cher, Michael Jackson, Fallout Boy, yes. Amazing. Adele. Some sad songs on here though. Outcast. Cardi B. Like. Marigold Belters. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mer Meatloaf. Blink-182. Miley Cyrus. There's not a bad... Oh no, I don't like Blink-182. What? Do I look like I like Blink-182? We do with that how we shitey tattoo. <laughs> Right, this guy said as well, I once messaged the uh, Fergie, the Duchess of York, and asked her if I could make her a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did she, mm. did she get back? Did he make her shoes? Mm, I never asked. Fergie, the Duchess of York. I don't even know heard of this person. Aye, that's fucking the Nancy's ex-wife. Is it? Fergie with the or- orange hair, or- red hair. Uh, Prince Andrew's. Ex wife. No, I don't see. I don't know. I don't care enough about the royal family. To I know, but it's just no any other popular names. Popular knowledge. Culture. Fergie, the Duchess of York, is popular knowledge. Aye. All right. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I think she's been on. Like she's got to have been on some reality TV show. Do you Big think? Brother or something. I don't know, but maybe. Surely no. Just basically a lot of people saying I. They did this. I had no idea other people done this. <laughs> There's obviously a guy on it. I used to love taking a snow emoji, <laughs> then cracking on with my house, but then I became addicted to it. Six months, two weeks off it now. I really miss it. <laughs> I really struggle with cleaning now. Uh, and it's then that I miss the snow emoji. <laughs> 
That's a shame. That's funny, but I messaged four coffees and then do you clean? I messaged Stephen Graham once. Oh, I love Stephen Graham. I know, but what would you say to him? What would you say to him? Say you had the chance to send him a message and he was going to read it. What would you say? This was one that I thought, gas, that's brilliant. Years ago, I got a booty call, jumped up, showered, gutted my room and kitchen. He never showed. Was so happy when I woke up. <laughs> that's the like the ideal is thing. the best. The panic clean. I like shamed into cleaning. Aye. So I'm in Susan's and she's not cleaned because she, d- she doesn't care. About I know. We're comfortable enough with each other now that we don't care. I don't care if my house is a mess. Your house actually isn't a mess. But like that's bad. I wish I did. And <laughs> you don't have intrusive thoughts about me because you don't love me enough so that's a level of your relationship that yeah, I'm fine you only have them about the people you love no I just have them me- that no, you love uh, the most I used to about me it's really sad you just want somebody to love me enough to have intrusive they thoughts about come. me they will come they're coming I don't think I'll ever love anybody again I've got too much my heart, my love is full capacity. Oh, MD New? Aye. Oh, and MD New is getting in? Aye. Fair enough. I really like you. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you as a friend. <gasps> this is terrible. Amanda's <laughs> good <in> my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amanda, if MD needs love, it's me. I love you. I'm the one that needs it. Right, come on. Nobody, nobody wants me. <laughs> That's so not true. That's not true. I don't That's know not the truth. <laughs> Stereotypically Italian though. That woman, right, so now you've got a voice in your head. Aye, and her voice is... Uh, her familiar. inner monologue is an Italian couple arguing with each other. That's right. No, it's no. It is. How but? Because different people have got different <sighs> voices that are their inner, like, some weirdos haven't get any nothing. Some people kind of picture things in the head. Um, that's meant lacking. I know, but it's like picture an apple. What do you picture it like? Well, is it like a cartoon apple? Is it like a real apple? At first, it was a cartoon, but then it was a real apple. See, my sister's pure. I find it really hard to picture stuff. I'm just pure, oh my god, you're one of the people. Oh, I think it's pure easy. I'm always picturing something, always something horrifying. I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? It was so funny when I did the intrusive thoughts bit in my show the other day, and I got people to write, got two people to write down the worst intrusive thoughts. Do you read them out like anonymously? No, because everybody sees who's filling them in. Oh, right, okay. I, I thought the people who are willing to share. No, it's just I say who I just ask if MD's has intrusive thoughts, and then I I pick two people mm-hmm. and I get them related in what they are, and they were like, "Oh, I don't want it." And I was pretty just there. And what were they? The first one was stabbing my friends, stabbing myself or my family when I'm doing the dishes. Right. And then the other one was throwing my baby. Oh, I, you told me back then. <laughs> throwing my way near the balcony, at Bray Head. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the bray head I know pure sp- <laughs> specific location <laughs> only in bray head though when she was a newborn she went it was my pal and my big sister Rachel that was pure that was so funny like everybody was pure howling that the amount is. of people that come up to me after it and was like I always have thought things like that I would never admit to that that was pure <laughs> see Amanda like you're saying I don't believe that person that said They've got an Italian couple arguing in their head as their inner monologue. But you should be more open-minded as no. someone that has... Why is it an Italian couple arguing? I don't know. They argue with each other and they help her make decisions. Like, they'll have an argument about... Like, if she's like, oh, I need to... Should I go to the gym? And it, one will be like, I don't know if this is racist. Like, go to the gym. <laughs> Another one will be like, no, I don't want to go to the gym. Well, you've just, if podcast is cancelled... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And like, there was some weird shit. It was a Guardian article. There was like one person that says that it's like there's a cinema in the heat, heat and like a wee woman goes up into the loft and like it's fucking 
mental. Shall I just get it up and read it? I can't believe I need to do a show tonight. No, no, no. Are you going to have a wee nap before your show? No, I'm not going to have time because I need to go pick up the wains. I'm hoping I'll get my motor back the day. Claudia, a sailor. A sailor? sailor? From Litchfield. Don't know where that is. And her late 30s is not Italian. She's never been to Italy. She has no Italian friends or family. And she has no idea why a belligerent... Is that how you say that? Belligerent? Belligerent Italian couple have taken over her inner voice, duking it out in Claudia's brain while she sits back and listens. And this is her speaking. She says, I have no idea where this came from, says Claudia apologetically. It's probably offensive to Italians. The couple are like the family in the Dolmio pasta adverts. <laughs> Flamboyant, portly. So that she's actually picturing them, prone to waving their hands and shouting. So uh, she's saying the like, wee fat people? Aye, she's got the dull meal people in her head basically ruling her life. If Claudia has a big decision to make in her life, the Italians take over. They passionately argue either side, Claudia says. It's really useful because I let them do it. I let them do the work so I don't get stressed out by it. It's literally you that's doing it though. I know. These disagreements she's always take place in a, a kitchen. Full show. She's putting on a full show in her head for herself. It's bananas these disagreements take place in a kitchen surrounded by food i can't remember this bit surrounded by food claudia hasn't given them italian names yet but they did help claudia make a life decision major life decision encouraging her <laughs> encouraging her to quit her job as a scientist two years ago and fulfill a lifelong dream of running away to sea claudia's fucking <sighs> claudia's not well i think they need to be encouraging claudia to go the psychiatrist <laughs> For a wee check, check see up. They were chatting <laughs> non-stop before I... It sounds a wee bit like schizophrenia or something, doesn't it? I don't know. We're probably being offensive here. They were chatting non-stop before I handed in my notice, Claudia says. I'd wake up and they'd be arguing. I'd be driving to work <laughs> and they'd be arguing. It was exhausting, to be honest. The woman was in favour of Claudia going, but her husband was wary. He'd be saying, it's a stable job. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd go, let her enjoy her life. <laughs> oh my God, that is insane. The woman prevailed. Oh no, I'm really worried that I'm going to adopt this. Oh no, I know, I know. She says they're a lot quieter now. They just bicker. They just bicker. Get them to fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask them to leave. Just be like, please leave. Hers wasn't even the weirdest one, Amanda. This guy doesn't ha even have a voice. He just has... An image like a tiny island surrounded by infinite ocean is how Justin Hopkins describes his brain. The tiny island is where all the conscious things seem to happen, but the surroundings, but it's surrounded by this infinite and inaccessible stuff. There is no one in his brain to blame, shame, or criticize. In his head, there is emptiness, just the still warm air before a rustling breeze. Was that Stephen Emmons? Was that what this guy's called? No, how? <laughs> Is that a cycle? Stephen? Or <laughs> Stephen, your boyfriend? <laughs> Every time I say Stephen, what are you thinking about? He's like, nothing. Well, maybe he just doesn't have an inner monologue. I know, I don't think he does. I'm like, what do you mean, nothing? Or he'll be like, I'm thinking about something pure, not worrying, <laughs> normal. And I'm like, why? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's one of these freaks. He doesn't dream. He doesn't remember dreams or anything. Is that not like a psy psycho? Oh no, is it, you dream in black and white, that's that's a psycho. Is that? If you always dream in black and white, I don't know. I mean, it's probably a lot of shite. Somebody's told me it once. He's probably just no go. He's probably just no much of an overthinker. He just takes everything as it comes, whereas I, I'm the opposite. Aye. I don't take anything as it comes. Ah, uh, <sighs> take things six months in advance and analyze every possible outcome. Aye, I'm an overthinker as I well. I wish I was more like him. I think he's good for me. Aye, it, it probably is good. Right, wait, because I'm trying to find this other freak. But then sometimes it annoys me because I'm just like. Have a wee hank about something. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is interesting. Aye. Aye, it would annoy me as <laughs> Aye, well. Aye, like, 
think about it. Mm-hmm. But he can't, because he's like, no. And I'm like, all right. So this is talking about deaf people now, right? <laughs> deaf people usually experience the inner voice visually. They don't hear the inner voice, but they can produce inner language by visual- visualising hand signs. hand signs. That's mad, isn't it? Aye, but it makes sense. It does make sense. His inner, this is talking about this other guy, Gordon. His inner voice is a pair of hands signing words in his brain. The hands, are, the hands aren't usually connected to anything. Once in a while, I'll see a face. If he needs to remind himself to buy milk, he signs the words "milk" in his brain. This is fascinating. I love all this stuff. Do you know? Aye. Just the way that people think. It's so interesting. Because like you day walk around thinking everybody thinks like you. Aye. And then you're like, they absolutely don't. No, it's terrifying. Aye. The broadcaster Jenny Murray lives in her brain. This is like a character. Well, not Murray exactly, but... Oh, shut up, I can't even... She just says it's somebody with a scarf flung loosely over their shoulder. <laughs> I am in a constant state of interviewing myself. Oh my god. That the is interviewing hell. always happens in a plush studio. There's nice, rich, crushed velvet walls. Oh well. There's warmth and a colour to it. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Jenny might say... When did you eventually take it? Uh, when did you eventually decide to take the plunge on those shoes? And I go, well, Jenny, that's an interesting question. <laughs> Do you know what? I've actually found myself doing things like that before. But just for a laugh. <laughs> just for a laugh. I like maybe you were like answering an interview question. Aye, in your head. Aye, Aye. but it's not always the same interview not about in buying like a pair a- of shoes. <laughs> Pure formally, like pure well decorated crushed velvet room. Aye. I imagine a lot of things. Right, this is the last one. I'm sorry if this is so boring for everybody, but I just love it, right? Former librarian Mary Worrell's inner voice has always been a TV screen or sometimes a slide projector that is constantly playing inside an attic inside her head. The attic is accessed by a spiral staircase behind her left ear. <laughs> She's 71, she lives in Birmingham. There's, and she says, there's not a great deal of sound. It's just images really, like a film is playing. And then she says, when her inner voice reminds her to pick up some washing powder, she doesn't hear the words buy washing powder. Instead, she sees herself reaching for a Box of washing powder on a TV screen in the attic. Are you so doing too much? I know, man. I'd be pure, oh, I can't be bothered walking up the stairs. I wouldn't get anything done. I'm not walking <sighs> up to the attic. To Imagine just no thinking or remembering things until you walk up the wee stairs in your brain and go into your wee attic and be like, oh, aye. So funny. It must be like people pure compartmentalise things. Aye. Whereas I can't. My thoughts are all consuming. Aye, all the time. <laughs> and it's just my That's voice, my. which I'm kind of grateful for, even though I, I don't particularly like my voice, but Aye, it's just it feels voice. normal to just have my voice. Aye. Mine's just boring and all. Aye. Usually quite boring thoughts in my head. <sighs> so anyway, I find all this stuff so fascinating. <laughs> so if you any Excuse of the me. listeners out there have weird ways of thinking. Please tell us. Go on, tell us. Go on, please tell us. You can email us. You can email, email us. us. It's Amanda, that's what people do on podcasts. Ah, you can email us. It's <laughs> material. I just I don't know what I expected you to say. <laughs> our email address. We don't know it. I'll get it though. Amanda's just going up our wee stairs behind her left ear and her brain. Just climb up the stairs into my brain. So our email address is Material Girl the Podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Very easy. Or you can like DM us Material Girl the Podcast all lowercase mm-hmm. at gmail.com. Tell us about if you've got a weird way what of instance. thinking. Hi. Or anything. Email us because we're running out of shit to talk about, quite honestly. No, I no. Well I am. Um, no. Get a grip. <laughs> well I am. Um. <laughs> I'd like a bit of help. 
Anyway, we're gone. I'm gone. I'm gonna go. I've got my show tonight. Yes. Amanda's sold out her show. I have not. I've actually sold a good chunk of tickets now. I'm quite happy. Good. Could be happier if it just sold out just because it looks good, doesn't it? It does look good, I. Aye. What else do I need today for you to come and see just me? Just come along. It's called Wonder Woman. I'm opening. Oh, I so you are forgot. <laughs> um, Amanda's open the show if that's appealing to you. <laughs> if you hate Susan but you like me a wee bit, then mm-hmm. you know you can get a wee bit of me and then a lot of Susan. Uh, right. Aye, it's come. It. It's in it's Easter Sunday. What time is it on it? Easter Sunday, Wonder Woman, half eight. I it's half eight. Half eight to ten. Easter Sunday, so you've got probably get the day off the next day. Okay. I think I'm the last show of the festival. I think you are. Wow. You wow. part of this historic that's occasion. Good on. That's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my show, please. It's called Wonder Woman. It's so funny, actually. It's so funny. Amanda's in the sketches, I know. Some of them. Some of them. Right, we're away. Okay. Love yous. I mean, yous are alright. An hour and 15 minutes. Oh my god. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, Chris. <laughs>